My name is Dr. Christina Lampe. I'm working at the Department of Child Neurology, Epileptology and Social Medicine at the University of Gießen in Germany. Actually, I'm taking care of mainly lysosomal patients and patients with neuromuscular diseases. I started in that new affiliation in October last year, and I'm creating a rare disease center that is mainly focused on lysosomal um, disorders. My first experience with MPS patient was um, actually a disaster because I, I'm, um, my specialty is I'm an adult surgeon. So I worked in a surgical department, I moved the city, and um, in order to make my tasis, um, I, was, uh, I got a chance to start in a metabolic unit of the University of Mainz in Germany. And I entered this metabolic unit and I saw a lot of MPS patients that I never saw before. I never heard about MPS before. So I, I was quite shocked about the multi-systemic um, diseases and patients. But actually I'm working in this field since 11 years now and I got stuck because I love these patients and it is so nice to work with them and the families. In my opinion, the, the MPS2 diagnoses are delayed because the earliest signs and symptoms in early childhood are there, but they are unspecific, while the real specific signs and symptoms like contractures of joints, cross face and so on, are um, appearing later. So it means at the beginning it is very difficult to combine the unspecific symptoms to make a suspicion of MPS2. So I have to say in my career as a surgeon I saw for sure a lot of patients with rare diseases but I was not um, aware of it. I was not interested in rare diseases because I wanted to cut and that's it. And um, I think I missed a lot of um, early signs and symptoms or also clear signs and symptoms like in MPS, the coarse face, the contractures. I think I was um, seeing these symptoms but I did not um, bridge it to a disease. So I think the not knowing about disease means you don't diagnose. For me, it is um, it, it, to make a successful diagnosis is extremely, I'm quite relieved because it, there's nothing um, worse for patients and parents to have a disease, not knowing what it is, not knowing whether there's a treatment available, if you have to expect something in future that can happen. So you don't, you have no chance to detect the life-threatening um, disease complications or quality of life. So misdiagnosis and not knowing what disease you are suffering from is affecting the whole family, not only the patient. And this is why whenever I make a new diagnosis, I'm sad to make a bad diagnosis, but on the other side to diagnose a patient with a progressive disease, but on the other side I know that I can do something, I can make the regular checkups, I know what I have to expect and to treat symptomatically and other ways. So it is extremely um, nice and also the contact with the family is very close so we are working together with this child and this development. I'm expecting for the future that physicians are knowing about the um, disease MPS2, that they are aware of the MPS um, patients and that they start diagnostics earlier, even if they make a lot of, um, or they, they don't make a lot of diagnosis, but to, at least to exclude, to think to the disease. This is the problem of rare diseases, that if you don't know about the disease, you don't think about it. But if you think about it, you should test. So at least to exclude all the um, diseases that are treatable would be important. So it is extremely important to have a lot of awareness and I would wish for the future that physicians think to the disease, they test and to, they will make a lot of more diagnosis than nowadays. To make more awareness for MPSs or to, to educate young people, the most important is that young physicians are open-minded to listen what is new, what is on the market. It is extremely important to be, to be open-minded, to look to the patient in 360 degrees, not only to see there's an infection of the airways, I treat the infection, but also sometimes, if this is the third time, to think maybe he has some, some other symptoms, to find the whole picture of the patient, to make it easier to really exclude or to confirm a rare disease. The next point is to 
to listen to parents, to, to understand if they say that something is wrong, the patient looked different from the other children or ourselves, that he's moving differently, he's always sick, there's something wrong with the child. So to listen, to, to, to take this serious, what parents say, to, to start a diagnostics or to send to a specialist, nobody can know everything. So it's also the network, not to be afraid to ask questions or another colleague, but to be open and say, okay, I don't know anything else more, please, maybe you have an idea. So this is actually what I think is extremely important.